The CIA contractor being held for killing two Pakistani men is free tonight. The seven-week diplomatic standoff ended with money changing hands. National correspondent Catherine Harridge tells us how much and who got it. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Brett. CIA contractor Ray Davis was released today, and sources tell Fox News he is safely out of Pakistan after a so-called blood money payment was made in accordance with Sharia law. This included a, quote, declaration of forgiveness by the relatives of the two men Davis shot and killed in January. The CIA has not commented on published reports that the victims' families received payments between $700,000 and a million dollars apiece. It was a high-stakes diplomatic standoff that began when Davis was arrested January 27th after shooting two Pakistani men at a traffic light in Lahore. Davis claimed the men were trying to rob him and he shot back in self-defense. The Pakistani said it was murder, took Davis into custody and threatened to prosecute him. Davis's interrogations were taped and released to the Pakistani media. It had the effect of escalating the incident and frustrating behind-the-scenes negotiations. An issue was whether Davis qualified for diplomatic immunity. U.S. officials said he held all the right paperwork, but the Pakistani said he did not meet the standard because of a technicality. Once a deal was reached, U.S. officials said there was no quid pro quo. For example, there were no promises to curtail U.S. counterterrorism operations or to identify agency personnel. The head of the House Intelligence Committee characterized the episode today as damaging. The trust certainly has been violated here, and I think uh, at least there's a lot of members of Congress who have raised a lot of very important questions about should we continue the level of support and assistance to Pakistan. Those are things we're going to have to work through, but we're going to have to have the Pakistanis come to the table and, I think, re-earn the trust of the people of the United States. In a public statement, CIA spokesman George Little said the agency and its partners in Pakistan have had a, quote, strong relationship for years, adding that it's a sign of a healthy relationship when both parties can work through a thorny issue, Brett. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.